Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about the mechanism of anionic polymerization. Okay, the first step in this mechanism is the initiation. And the next step we have is the propagation and finally we have the termination process. Okay, now we will see what is initiation. Okay, here initiation will be done by the uh, negatively charged ions. Okay, negatively charged ions on our pi electron pair of monomer. Okay, in initiation what happened? The negatively charged ion will attack, okay, it will attack on the pi electron pair of the monomer, okay. And as a result, whenever there is an interaction or whenever this species will attack our monomer, the negative charge will shift to the monomer side, okay. That is why it is called as anionic polymerization process, okay. Well, now if I take negatively charged ion as this, okay, NH2 negative, okay. This is acting like an, a catalyst and if you take the monomer, this one, CH2, CH, CN. Okay, you can take any monomer. I have taken this vinyl uh, nitrile. Okay, this is your monomer. So, what happened? So, negatively charged ion will attack the pi electron pair of the monomer. So, it will actually attack this carbon. Okay, and as a result, this pi electron is there, no, or pi bond will shift to this carbon. Okay, you will get NH2, CH2, CH, CN, and over this carbon, you have a negative. Okay, now you can see that carbon ion, carbon ion has generated. Okay, that is by the attack of catalyst over the monomer. Okay, so negatively charged ion is or a negatively charged carbon is generated and this is what happens in the initiation step. Okay, once this carbon ion is generated, the next step will be our propagation step. Propagation. So, in propagation what happens? The chain growth will take place. Okay, the chain growth or growth of the chain will take place. Okay, chain growth will take place. So, this carbon ion NH2, CH2, CH, CN negative that will attack the another monomer. Okay, our monomer is this one. Okay, so it will attack this carbon and as a result pi electron will shift to this carbon and NH2, CH2, CH and that is bonded to the CN. Now here you can see there is a formation of sigma bond between them. Okay. And CH, CN and this carbon is now having negative charge. Okay. Once again this will attack with what? Our monomer that is CH2 double bond. CH, CN. Okay. How? This will attack this carbon and this will go here. Okay. So what you get? NH2. CH2, CH, CN, CH2, CH, CN, single bond, CH2, CH, CN and over this carbon now you have negative sign. Okay. Now, now suppose if you take N, okay, N number of the monomer that is CH2 double bond CH, CN. Okay. What happened? You will get like this. Okay. Let me write here NH2. So, here you can see this is the repeating unit, right? This unit is keep repeating. So, I am not writing it many times. I simply write like this and I write N. Yeah. Okay, that indicates that this unit is keep repeating N yeah, times. Okay, then you have CH2, CH, CN negative. Okay, this is what you get in the propagation step. Okay. So, next step and the final step is the termination step. Termination. Okay, termination step. Okay, one thing you need to understand that here in the anionic po polymerization technique, the termination is not a spontaneous process. Okay, it is not a spontaneous, spontaneous process 
process okay it is not a spontaneous process okay so if i want to terminate this growing polymer chain okay if i want to terminate this chain then i need to add some impurities okay impurities are required now suppose if you do not add impurities then the termination doesn't occur in the anionic polymerization okay that thing you need to remember so if you carry out the reaction that, uh, without adding any impurities then then what happen this end is there no the chain end will be uh, potentially active okay that will remain active okay even after the uh, consumption of all the monomer that is added this end will be active okay suppose if you add more monomer what happen is that the uh, polymerization again continues that means it do not uh, dies okay this end is there no even though there is no monomer left to be polymerized this uh, polymer chain end will remain active okay if you uh, add more monomer once again the polymerization continues so it is not a spontaneous process so if i want to end the polymerization process it is necessary that i need to add some impurities okay and this polymerization is there no anionic polymerization is also called as leaving polymerization okay this is called as leaving polymerization why because the chain end remain potentially active even after all the monomer is consumed okay and if the fresh monomer is added once again polymerization continues okay so it is kind of leaving okay it never dies okay it dies only when you add the impurities okay so we will see i write the same thing here nh2 ch ch sorry ch2 is there cn n ch2 ch uh and cn negative okay i written the same thing okay same now i need to add the impurities correct in order to stop it so let me add some ammonia okay nh3 in order to stop it okay so what happen is that it will abstract the hydrogen from the impurity okay so whatever the impurity that is added no that must contain a hydrogen in it okay it must be a source of hydrogen because this growing polymer chain in order to stop it it must abstract a hydrogen so whatever the impurity you have added it must be what hydrogen rich or proton rich okay so it is abstracted by this nh2 ch2 ch cn n you have ch2 ch2 now okay why it is ch2 because it has been abstracted one of the hydrogen from this ammonia so it becomes ch2 so you left with nh2 negative so what is this you are catalyst okay so once again if there is a monomer okay if you add fresh monomer this can carry out a initiation uh, reaction okay once again the polymerization may continue if you add the monomer okay so this is about the termination of the anionic polymerization okay so only this much you have under the mechanism of anionic polymerization or leaving polymerization okay if you have any doubt in this uh, mechanism you can ask in the comment section okay thank you for watching